gosh, I, I forgot I even had that in my pack. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's poor, man. I, if Joe flicked my ear, I'd, I'd probably conk him in the forehead. Hey everybody, Jerry here with an exclusive offer for KafaroCast listeners. If you head on over to SheepFeetOutdoors.com, enter in the code KAFARU20 at checkout, and you can save yourself 20% off your next purchase. Again, that is KAFARU, the number 2, followed by the number 0 at SheepFeetOutdoors.com. Save yourself 20%. Now here's Aaron with the podcast. Welcome to Kafaro Cast, everybody. I am at the Snyder World Headquarters, which is my wife's office in Riverton because uh, my building's not finished yet. But I just got back from South Dakota TAC. And uh, amongst many other things that went on there, I had some of the clothing that I had been alluding to uh, for the last few months and did a total video on recently uh, that I was a, a part in designing and working with um, you know, a, a company doing. And little bit of confusion on that because I didn't do the best job in the world. I kind of rednecked it, but I was able to partner up uh, with a company that's been in business for seven, eight years already that wanted to get into the outdoor line and the, you know, the more hiking, hunting, fishing, you know, whatever, wildland, firefighter, technical clothing side of things. And I was able to do that. Um, this is going to be kind of the pre-release uh, better than my redneck release. It's not officially released yet, but I have two, uh, kind of the head people, uh, at this specific company, uh, which is born primitive, uh, that I've been working with, uh, that's Tony and bear. And, uh, before I screw things up anymore, you guys kind of take it from, from there. Like, who are you? Uh, bear they everybody knows you a little bit. What parts do you have with born primitive and born primitive outdoors? And, uh, yeah, let's, let's get some info out for people. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us, man. We're excited about it. Um, obviously excited about, you know, where this is going. Uh, I know we've got some samples already, and, and they're freaking awesome. So I think we're really damn close. Uh, for me, um, owner of the business, uh, we launched it in our garage about eight years ago. Um, and uh, been active the whole time, just got out a couple months ago. Um, and we were able to, to build something fairly substantial, uh, mainly a workout apparel brand to start out. Uh, but as you said, well, we're going to try to pivot um, and kind of, you know, live, exist in a new space. Uh, this is a space that's not foreign to us. It's not like we're not, um, you know, out there. Um, I spent a lot of time out there in my military service. And I know Tony, uh, who uh, manages all of our international sales, head of our international uh, division, uh, you know, basically live in the woods. Um, so he, him and I, as well as obviously Frankie, who's our, our lead apparel designer, um, have been collaborating with you to, to bring um, this whole collection to life. And- yes, and thanks for having us on. Uh, I think I think from our end, uh, what this started was 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 or started as was conversations over beer uh, between Bear and I, kind of seeing the, the the technical features that we were applying to our, our normal apparel, and kind of having that personal interest uh, with his tactical background, and then yeah, just growing up on a two hundred acre farm in the middle of Pennsylvania, kind of saying that like, hey, we we have the capability here to to kind of do this, but we need to find somebody like yourself to kind of help. Uh, help be the compass for, for those little features that they now we've worked on together to help solve. So yeah, th- thanks for having us on. Oh yeah, no, no problem. I was excited. Uh, you know, kind of the way all this worked out, uh, mutual friends, teammates, whatever. Um, we, we all had kind of a common bond, common, common link. Um, and uh, you two got to know me a little bit more as time has gone on. It's actually kind of funny with all this. Uh, we get along well enough. Uh, uh, we don't even have a contract between the two of us. It's kind of funny. I really just wanted really <laughs> kick-ass clothing. <laughs> and I was like, we'll figure it out later. Um, and, and, you know, and, and, and uh, I, it's not like there's not a ton of different clothing on the market today. There's just certain things we all wanted maybe a little bit differently. The resources uh, that you guys had, and then obviously some of the experiences that I had, it just kind of all meshed together. It actually, I mean, other than a few Army Navy comments, it's gone relatively smooth. Uh, I will say the biggest problem we have is Bear trying on pants and saying they're they're too tight. Uh, Bear, <laughs> how large are your legs, Bear? Because they seem like they're as large as your waist. I, so I, I wear the thirty six, but I think I'm I'm flirting with the thirty eight, depending on um, <laughs> you know certain uh, bodily movements that morning. Uh, but 
no, I, I finally had to remove myself as an outlier from fit because I realized, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a good uh, model for that, but even my big legs and, and, and glutes were, you know, I'm still fitting in it. There's good mobility. And then Tony, he's freaky six, seven. Um, and I know a lot of dudes were asking about that uh, for the pant length. We'll have that 36 uh, inch inseam, so he's totally good to go. So for all the, the outliers out there, we should have a size to fit everyone, which is good. And, and I think just to expand on that a little bit, Aaron, that the picture you put of me on your feed, that was a, that was a, a regular inseam. So any, for any of the tall guys out there that, that happen to see Aaron's story, uh, there's an extra three inches of inseam on, on the tall version. So just wanted to clarify that. So we didn't, we didn't scare off any of the giants. We actually had a lot of giants messaging me. Thank God you're finally remembering us. And I had some shorter individuals say, Hey, what about us? And I'm like, well, you know what? You can roll yours up. Tony cannot roll his down if it's not there. <laughs> like, you know, and yeah, I, I looks like, a yeah, <laughs> like Tom Sawyer or is it Huck Finn? Wh which one, but one, <laughs> one of them, um, was just we put a lot of time and not necessarily the just the fit but the fit and not necessarily uh you know something like the 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 pocket arrangement we did that too uh so the fit the function the pot you know the material there was a lot of time and in, in uh you know a lot of mailing back and forth and emailing and phone calls and everything else to get this right because you've got a like guy like bear who i'm not sure what are you six two and two four 45, 250, how big are you? Somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, about 245, 240, I think. Mean, Tony, you're six seven, and I don't know. what. How, yeah, 15, uh, somewhere in the 210 to 225 range, but yeah, right now about 215. Yeah, I'm one, a meaty 218 pounds, and then we've had other people try it along, along the way, as well as look at the different pocket configurations. These are on the pants, which I'm extremely excited about, but also – like I wore some of this stuff this weekend, the sleeve length, the function, or, you know, the, not the function, the form of the body where it, you don't have the Walmart puffy look, but it's also not too, too tight. Um, you know, and it, how it fits over the layers. We put a lot of thought into this and I really was anti camo in this. Uh, you guys had brought it up a few times and I'm like, guys, my big thing for this, uh, on my end of it is getting clothing out there for someone that, is on a budget or is not on a budget, but can wear the same thing where they're out putting up a fence, putting, you know, putting up 3d targets, shooting a 3d course or at 13,000 feet on a mountain goat hunt that it blends in well enough in all circumstances. Uh, you will work for hunting, but will also work if you're going to dinner that you can, that you can wear it and it lasts for a long time. It's very functional. And, and that was a big push for me. I am not a big camo fan. Like I don't mind wearing camo, but I also don't want to wear camo to dinner and I don't want to hike in to the mountains in camo. I really am a solid color guy. And we were all, uh, you know, did our due diligence, I guess, on the, the, the Pantone colors on the color palette or whatever for, for these things. So we ended up, I mean, uh, you guys want to kind of talk about that as far as like what colors we ended up with and why. Yeah, so um, ended up going with the coyote tan, pretty standard. Uh, we have that OD green, and then in some products we'll have wolf gray and then black. So we kept it real simple. Obviously, those are safe plays. Can't go wrong with that. Um, and I think that's just the bigger point with, with this, Aaron, is you know that's why I think working with you has been so beneficial because you're obviously entrenched in that space. You know, while Tony and I and, and a lot of the crew here uh, still get out a lot, we don't know it like you do, right? Um, so we came at you hard with, all oh, camo this, camo that, and you reel this in. Um, and I think there are re the reasons that you presented are, are perfect. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm not, not going to say we'll never do camo. Uh, you know, after this initial launch, if, if people are asking for it, um, we definitely can. We have the capability. But for this initial launch, that's what we're going to be rolling with. No, 100%. And, again, like when, it, when I say I'm – uh, not a, not a, I don't worry about camo as much on the, on the hunting side of things, but it's, it's not necessarily, yeah, there's no, you know, there's nothing poured in concrete, right. That's going to happen. It's just, I really wanted to get clothing out that I could see again, guys and gals wearing on a 3d course, and then also see them behind an animal or pulling in a fish or whatever with it. And so, you know, the color wise, as far as like the coyote Brown kind of a ranger green color, um, I mean, they just looked good. They're neutral, you know, earth tone type of colors and you can mix and match that. If somebody wants to wear camo, they can throw on a camo top. And if you're into matching, 
it'll look good with that. But when you hike in, you don't, you know, or in your airport, you don't look like you're trying to, you know, fly overseas and kick a door down or fly over and go backpack in to shoot a grizzly. You just look like you're wearing pants and it's worked out really, really well. Um, not to dive too far ahead, but why, why don't why don't you guys go over the the exact line and maybe some of the up and coming things at, at whatever level you're wanting to discuss? Yeah, yeah. So pretty simple initial loadout. You know, it's basic layering system. So you'll have your base layers, top and bottom. Um, it'll be in two different thicknesses. Um, both of them are merino wool, so really high end stuff. Um, I think most of you are probably tracking the benefits that come with merino wool, antimicrobial, and um, its ability to insulate even when it's wet and, and all that shit. Um, so there'll be two thicknesses of that. Then we'll go to our mid layer, um, where we will have a quarter zip grid fleece and then a full zip, um, fleece as well. Um, yeah, I think, you know, everyone's probably tracking, uh, you know, the, the moisture wicking, uh, qualities of some of those fabrics, you know, we, we're making sure that that is absolutely essential to what we're doing. Um, Aaron, of course you're, you know, intimately familiar with that. Uh, and then on the outer layer, uh, we have our tundra jacket, which is going to be uh, kind of a regular insulation value. And then we'll have a light version. Um, and then last will be our frontier pant um, that will be a, kind of a frontier heavy. And then we're going to have a frontier light. And, and basically for each layer, we wanted to call out a heavier version and a lighter version, depending on the climate and the conditions you're facing. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, we're working on our, um, you know, our rain layers. So top and bottom, Frankie's working that. Uh, that will likely be the event fabric, which I know, Aaron, you're a big fan of. Um, and, you know, it, it outperforms. Uh, some of the competitors that I guess maybe we won't name here. Um, and then uh, a thicker version of that hoodie with, with a really thick land fleece, which will be coming in, in round two of, of the collection. So that's kind of the basic down and dirty of uh, what we got coming out in September. Yeah, and I think um, like the event material, um, one thing I guess should be noted when I brought that up, there wasn't like any – you guys were just like, all right, we'll get after it, you know, whether or not we're able to execute that, you know, but I, I, you, you, you guys are doing your due diligence to get that fabric fabric going and the colors that we want. And, and I am a huge fan of event, um, you know, fabric. The other thing too, is just the fabric that we're already using, um, with, with, with all of our experiences, for example, the grid fleece, you know, some people ask, is there a backer to that? Um, you know, this weekend, not that they necessarily wanted it or didn't want it. They're asking that grid fleece is literally, in my opinion, like the exact, it, it is a fast drying fleece. So for me, it's what I would throw over a t-shirt on a stock. It's what I would throw over if I'm just hanging around the campfire or if I, uh, you know, it's a little bit chilly morning, but it also, I can sweat in it and I've done a ton of testing. It dries out extremely fast. You can wear it dry. Um, there's also a crew neck fleece, which is a little bit different material, but, um, it, I, I was a big fan of not overloading people with different options to where it's so confusing. They can't get a system. And when I say a system, if I'm heading into the back country, uh, my, my packing list is not over, uh, it's almost anticlimactic for people. I'm like, I've got this, 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 and this you guys were awesome about that as well. We have what you need, uh, not something that we made up, meaning I didn't make up a problem for you guys to buy a prop, a, a product and neither did bear or Tony. We made what is actually needed, not some, you know, um, without coming off like a total pecker would there's some products on the market that people come out with. I see to just make you spend your money. You actually need what, what we're offering. Um, well, I mean, let's talk about like the heavier weight puffy, we put pit zips in that. I, I haven't seen that on a heavier weight puffy before. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's where, you know, the beauty of working with you comes in, Aaron, because, you know, all the layering system that I got, I was issued in the military, right? So we had the full like seven layer, you know, system, which we were trained on how to use and all that stuff. But, you know, what you need is slightly different. Um, and, and I think what people will appreciate once they get the stuff is just the nuances to the design that only if you're a guy that does that, you'll recognize, um, if you don't, it might go overlooked, but that's all being driven from you, Aaron. And, you know, if you spend so much time out there that you can get exposed, if there's features that, you know, maybe the zipper's in the wrong spot and it's digging into you with your rucksack or there's little things that, you know, you only make that mistake once. Um, and I think that's why, you know, this shit's going to be pretty airtight once we, once we launch it. And, and that's one thing that's, which I should probably, if I could, um, you know, record over scrolling through some of the, um, text message group messages we have is we, they're, uh, 
how would I say, like egos are out the window, everything's on the table, and immediately I'll be like, like the, the your leg size or quads or whatever. I'll be like, dude, I'm gonna look like homie the clown. We can't, you do that. Like that's gonna be too big or you coming back with, well, yeah, you're in the army, you're dumb as shit or whatever, it's just, just jokes, right? It, but it, 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 you end up with a better product in the end. So when we were going over some of these different things, whether it was the logo or the zippers, where the zippers were located, you know, I had brought up something on, on like, hey, if we put, have draw cords in this position here, for a puffy jacket, it seems great in theory, but when you put your belt on for your ruck, it's going to cause bleeding potentially because you have a little, you know, um, like plastic piece at your hip bone. And there was a lot of things we discussed about that to, to c kind of fine tune the line that, that gives you the best possible outcome for a product with the least amount of problems, the longest term durability with a really good price. And having multiple chuckleheads on a group text was great because I mean, believe me, if you overlook something, somebody else would pick it up quick in the text message. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think, um, shit, hold on. I to cut that one out. What was that going to say? <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. Do you want to respond to that, Tony? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's a testament to both parties, Aaron, as far as like we can, we knew we had a decent amount of knowledge going into this, but we also had enough humility to know where our, where our blind spots were. And I, I think, I think the relationship with you has, has really kind of revealed those blind spots and then also created solutions to, to get rid of them. So it really is a, a symbiotic relationship where the, the execution side of it, we're, we're very confident in that. And like, we've been doing that for eight years now, but then we're also not delusional in our knowledge of, of what the, the exact technical features need to be for, for the outdoor space. So I think that like right away, both parties kind of saw that and brought a certain uh, amount of humility to the table. And I think that's what's created kind of a, a streamlined execution of getting the line out there and also just an enjoyable kind of uh, conversation back and forth. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, another thing that I'm excited about Aaron and kind of puts you on the spot here is I think there's a, a big opportunity to, kind of educate people that aren't as immersed in what you do uh, on the layering system, right? Um, give a climate, all right, it's 40 degrees out, it's seven in the morning, we're about to roll out on uh, patrol. Um, what are you wearing? Uh, we're expecting rain around lunchtime, right? And and making people realize, okay, you're not gonna you know, put the heavy puff on with two base layers and a, and a mid layer because it's comfortable when you just got out of your sleeping bag in a tent drinking coffee, now you're actually gonna start out maybe a little bit more slick a um, little bit cold because in 10 minutes you're going to be, you know, starting to sweat. Right. So things like that I I'm excited for, and you're the expert. So I'm going to expect you to kind of run point on that. But in some, for some people that shit might be obvious, but other people might need a little bit of, uh, um, you know, education on, on what their loadout should be depending on various situations. Yeah, hundred percent. And, and that's one thing that, you know, we're going to focus on above and beyond the clothing is also just, one creating a family you know that 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 everybody you know the way we start the company the way that your company is as well as mine kafaru transfer that through with with you know the side of it with born primitive outdoors is also teaching and just hanging out and learning and so being able to do videos on layering systems and understanding why i do certain things or or you may do certain things a certain way. And, and, and that's the thing. Like when I go in on a 14 day backpack hunt, I've got a set of plant pants that is applicable for the environment and conditions and distance I'm going in. I have a, you know, fleece or two that is the same way. The puffy jacket, do I need a heavier or a lightweight? And why is that? And why I may err to the side of caution one way or another, or, you know, whatever. And th that's a big thing that I want people to understand that, you know, as we move forward, the line may grow. I'm sure, I mean, the line's going to grow, but I never want to get to a point, and you guys don't want either, that we're just offering things to offer them for to you to spend your money. There will be a reason we offer it, and there will be an explanation that you will understand to make your life better as you're in the field. And that may be, uh, again, that might be just you working a fire line uh, for the Forest Service. That might be you working Border Patrol, and you need a pocket somewhere specifically or whatever, but we'll do a good job at trying to explain that um, and do our best to make the best product for you. And the other thing too, is this is not, um, it, we were able to price this very competitively 
and what, you know, what I feel is a better product, uh, you know, doing all of this. And one of the things we didn't throw a bunch of shit on there. You didn't need, um, we actually took some things off to help with price on some of the different offerings. Cause it was like, eh, I, I don't know that we really need that. And we, you know, throw it, you know, throw it on the wall, see what stuck and, and what we, what made sense to us. So I'm kind of rambling on here, but I'm excited. Oh yeah. So are we, we got to do that trip out in August. We got to come out to your neck of the woods and, and we got to stress test this shit. That'll be the, the kind of final determining factor. I'm very confident we're already good. Cause I know you're, you've been wearing a bunch of it and you're obviously out there, but that'll be the, uh, the final test. Yeah. I, I think the biggest problem we're going to have with that is scheduling. That's a nightmare between all of <laughs> all of our jobs is I can go into the woods whenever I want, as long as I know when it is or, or, you know what, but making all that, uh, you know, work. And I mean, as far as like stress testing, one of the good thing was, is I was able to wear this in the Davis mountains and, uh, where everything is trying to shred rip apart with the different rock and whatever. Like I was able to put some of these things through a massive beating, you know, long before, you know, I was leaking too much out, was able to, you know, try some of this stuff out. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm excited. I mean, I think we're going to do another podcast with Frankie at some point and talk a little bit more about the materials and things like that. Are we, we still on board for that as we kind of move forward? Absolutely. Yeah, Cause I did get a bunch of questions on that, but like we, we have a Merino blend base layer. Um, and when I say Merino blend, blend, it's not all Merino because I'm not a big fan of all Merino, um, for, you know, for different layers and the, the, what's in the puffy jacket, you know, it's kind of a proprietary or whatever you want to call it insulation, but we didn't just go spend the money on what we were told was the best. We were able to test it. And so, yeah, it, it's, it's all, it's all good. So, so people know there's a landing page on my, on my Instagram page. If you go to my bio, there's a landing page where you can sign up and we're going to start leaking, you know, more and more info out, uh, on that landing page. I think we already have a thousand or 1500 people signed up. How many got a few signed up? How many is on there now? Yeah, I think it's right around 1500. And, and the point of that is that as we get a little closer to, to launch date, we'll start to build out. And like you mentioned, Frankie, we'll start to build out some actual, like, emails uh calling out the technical features to 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 give a little more info on each of the each of the pieces hopefully this podcast uh clears up a little bit uh for it but yeah we we know people want to see the stuff so we'll we'll use that mailing list to kind of to to send out some pre-launch information uh regarding yeah the exact dates and then the actual features of the gear itself yeah and the, the good thing about that list is i can promise the group you won't be getting any other promotional content it'll be exclusive to this um i think in the very beginning we forgot to like turn off the setting so people were getting like texts on like buying sports bras and shit and you were your people were hitting you up saying why am i seeing this so we fixed that um it'll basically be it's a vip list to basically just stay in the know uh, as we develop this um and uh it will likely go uh, available for free sale in august so as long as you're on that list you're gonna have everything you need and i know uh, aaron i won't spoil the surprise but there might be a few additional perks that come with that um you know, as far as giveaway, we might, we might spice it up and, and invite you into our world a little bit, uh, for, for a few dudes that, that sign up. So, uh, bottom line is go to Aaron's link, sign up, um, and, uh, we'll keep you posted as this thing rolls out. Yeah. And I know we, there was a few people, um, like we are going to eventually have a uh, born primitive outdoors, Instagram page. You know, the one thing we don't want to do is get an Instagram page that has eight people in one picture, you know, most of your info initially is going to be coming from that landing page and signing up for it. Uh, details I'll leak a little bit out on my page, uh, you know, here and there, but you know, bottom line, um, we've done a bunch of testing with this. We've had, you know, all the samples are, are, are basically finalized on this initial, um, I, I see basically they are finalized on this initial, I, I guess, run of, of, of the system that we have, there's going to be a pre-sale, uh, I believe. Um, and yeah, I mean, we'll get you as much info as we can that makes sense as time goes on. And, uh, you know, I guess FOMO might happen as far as f- I had an overwhelming amount of people worried they were going to miss. We ordered enough. We hope to cover this initial run. So I, I'm not saying we're going to run out, but some of this is a little bit nerve wracking. I'm sure for you, especially because like, 
you know, I don't know how many people are going to order. I have a decent idea, I think, of who's going to like the pants and the grid fleece, things like that. But, uh, yeah, it's it's again, it's been an overwhelming amount of people asking me, so I, I think people will like it. What do you two think is going to be the biggest seller? Oh, uh, man. What do you think? Uh, I think, kind of like you hinted on earlier, Aaron, I think, I think there's going to be, like an everyday use to some of these products. And I see the, I see the hat fit quiver, uh, the grid quiver, uh, hoodie. I think that'll probably be the best seller. It, that, that looks badass, whether you're in the field, whether you're on a hike or hell, I'll, I, I'll wear it to the office. So I, that one has a ton of crossover that I, I think is going to perform really well in, in the people that need it for a specific, uh, performance purpose and just for everyday use. So I, I think in, in my opinion, I'm, I'm, I'm hedging my bet on that. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean to um, try to be a, a follower, but yeah, I, I think the same thing. I think you know, you know what you said, versatility. I know I got like the first prototype of that, you know, way long ago, and I that's all I wear around the house. Um, and it's like it's just shit brown, um, different color, but it's, it's all, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I rock it all the time. Um, but yeah, that, what do you think, Eric? I, I would say the the light and the heavyweight pants and that grid fleece are probably going to be initially the the big ones. I wear that grid fleece everywhere. Like I can tell you whether it was in the field and getting beat up or just with a chest harness on it or, or, or spirit spilling, you know, peanut butter whiskey on it. I wear that thing a lot. And, uh, the other one, I, I honestly, man, I'm not normally a guy that wears like a base wheel air Merino around, but I think that might come in at a, a strong second or third, but yeah, the two pairs of pants and the grid fleece, I think's initially you can wear them everywhere. I mean, I, I wore the heavyweight pants the second day in South Dakota, an archery tournament, and those hip zips in the pants make a big deal on those heavyweights as far as being able to wear it as it cooks off on the day. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the heavyweight pant, the grid fleece, and the lightweight pant will be the initial top three. Yeah, I think I think that's something where the more the more we we get in samples and kind of refine refine the the color palettes and whatnot, we're realizing more and more just how how the pants especially can, can be worn for, for everyday use. I think at least in my head, I know at the beginning I was thinking like, Oh, this will be a very like particular piece for, for only going on like a, a backpack trip or, or a hunt. And then the more we've had them on in the office, it's and once again, you, you touched on it at the beginning of the podcast there and it's like, damn, you could, you could wear these every day. And I, I think, I think that's something you sh- you've showed interest in from the beginning is creating a product, uh, that has that crossover where it, it, it can perform when it needs to, but yeah, you could, you can wear it to Walmart without looking like a door. <laughs> yeah. And I have, so, um, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, man, I don't know, uh, on this one, we need to cover too much more. I, one of the reasons was uh, I wanted to get, get you two gentlemen to hop on here was the amount of p- questions people were asking me. Um, and, and two, like I was having trouble with people, you know, it's not through Kafaro, it's through Born Primitive, and it's it's a portion of Born Primitive called Born Primitive Outdoors. Uh, you have been in the fitness clothing industry for a long, long time. Um, you know, you guys have background in the outdoors and fields and, and ha- experience in multiple different avenues. <clears throat> but I did have a lot of guys say, hey, these guys make, you know, out, or uh, fitness clothing and jorts and stuff. And it's like, yeah, they do that too, but they are, you know, so... It's through Born Primitive Outdoors or Born Primitive, but to get on the landing page, go to my Instagram page and click on my bio, and that'll take you there to sign up for it. And as time goes on, we will have an Instagram page. Like I said, um, you know, we'll we'll have the full meal deal. I'm just wanting to get the info out there to people to know what's coming. I'm super excited as well as you guys are, and uh, we'll let you know as time goes on as much info as we can with the release of hopefully around, you know, pre-sale August, September time frame. Aaron, I got one more thing to add. It's not about the Army, is it? Uh, potentially. <laughs> Just got to throw out the gong. Aaron and I have a, uh, we got a case of beer and a case of bourbon on the line for who can generate the most sign-ups. So I'm giving him like a two and a half month head start on his list. Uh, and then born primitive steps in and we're going to flex hard on, on this list. Uh, when we, when we release it to our people. So if you're a supporter, Aaron, we're giving him a really strong handicap. Make sure you can support him. He's an army guy. He needs all the help he can get. Uh, and then we will let you guys know in September how the bet shook out and, and who was buying. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. And I, I, uh, with, with the, uh, 
I have to say with with the initial redneck things I've done, I have excitement that 1,500 people or so signed up um, because the first video I did was in my garage by my archery table kind of winging it. And uh, (laughs) after I did that, I thought that probably wasn't the best way to show bear. I actually do have people that listen to me, but, uh, but we did get some people signing up. So, uh, no, it'll be, it'll be good. And as bear alluded to, we may have some different giveaways, uh, potential maybe to come hang out and, uh, learn archery outdoor things later on down the line. If you're signing up, um, you know, on that landing page. So a lot of good things going. I can't, I can't really thank you guys enough. You've been obviously awesome enough to deal with. We don't even have a, a, a contract together as far as, um, you know, the designs and things like that. These guys are, are just awesome in every way. Very trustworthy, cool dudes that are cut from the same cloth. So it's been a pleasure, uh, you know, working with all of you on this. It's been great. So Thanks for having us, Aaron. Uh, same goes back to you. You've been you've been super simple to work with. Uh, no stuffiness at all between between either party. So so I'm super excited for for what we're coming out in the near future, and I think it's going to be badass. Yeah, and like last thing for me, Aaron. I think that what's critical about this is having credibility, and I want everyone to know. You know, we we aren't this like niche workout brand that all of a sudden was like, oh, I, you know, there's a lot of people who want. Let's try to go, you know, speak to that audience and act like we're one of them. Um, you know, while we're not out there all the time, like you are, this is something that, you know, is a part of our, um, background, you know, me more in the military pony growing up on a 200 acre farm. Um, but through you, Aaron, obviously, you know, hopefully that brings some credibility that the gear we're going to roll out has been tested and there's a reason for everything we're going to do, um, as, as it pertains to the specs and all that. So we're excited about it. We appreciate the opportunity. Hopefully the lawyers aren't listening. Um, cause I think the contract is on like a napkin with Sharpie right now, but, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out eventually. Yeah, that's funny. I'm not smart enough to have one. So cool. Uh, all right. Well, everybody, uh, check it out on my Instagram page, uh, on my bio to go sign up and, uh, yeah, more to come. I appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk soon enough. Oh yeah. Thanks, Darren.